Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for Click Kits and I'm using the September Farmhouse Kit and it's absolutely stunning. So I am um, going to be focusing on a product this week um, is product focus and so what we're focusing on this week is layered embellishments. So you'll see here in just a couple minutes that I'm going to layer up um, some things and make an embellishment um, and that's going to be one of the focal points on my layout. So right now I'm just trimming down some stuff that I thought I was going to use. I'm going to end up not using this card um, because the layered embellishment that I actually end up making is a little bit bigger than this and there just wasn't enough room for it. So right now I'm going through the papers and I'm trying to figure out which ones um, will work for me with this photo. So I knew that I wanted to use this pink. Um, it's a super, super light pink with like mustard, almost splatters all over it. Um, they're not quite polka dots to me. Um, they look more like splatters because there's small ones and there's medium ones and there's big ones. And then I knew that I wanted to incorporate a lot of black. Um, so the reason why I wanted to do that was because I'm using a black and white photo. Um, and so, yeah, that was the idea behind the papers that I'm going to be choosing here in a minute. So right now, as you can see, I did leave this on camera for you guys. I'm going through the ephemera. Most of the time I do this off camera, but right now I'm just looking for, um, really good pieces to layer on top of this tag. So on one side of these tags, you get a whole pack of these tags, first of all, which is amazing. Um, on one side, they have gold words, gold foil words, which are stunning. However, I'm probably not gonna use this one that says thanks because I don't really do cards and such. So I decided to flip it over and use the blank side and um, create this layered embellishment. So the tag is going to have some layered florals on it and some leaves. And then I'm going to use this chipboard piece that looks like a piece of wood. And it said, love lives here. Love lives here. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I said that right. Um, and so right now you can see that that's what I'm doing. I am gluing all of those little elements on this tag. And then it's going to be an embellishment. So it's super fun to go through your kit and create little things like this. And then you can just quickly add them to your projects. If you would like to do that at the first, like when you first get your um, kit at the beginning of the month um, or whenever you get it, whenever you receive it, just sit down and maybe play with some of the ephemera and the word stickers or the little um, special embellishments. You can see that I'm going to add some sequins on there. The sequins came in the kit as well. And right now I'm adding some little tiny word phrases. The ones that I'm going to use are happiness and my heart is so full right now. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue those sequins down. So you can do that at the very beginning when you get your kit. And then when you have, you know, time to sit down and scrapbook, maybe you might not have that much time. You can sit down and scrapbook and then you already have embellishments ready to go that are, you know, pre-made and they're a little bit more special um, than just, you know, your regular embellishments because you made them. <laughs> so that is done. Now I'm going to work on the design element of the actual layout. So I did put a black photo mat around the photo. Um, I just pulled some scrap black cardstock from my stash to do that. And right now, I believe I'm just cutting some layers um, of some of the papers to put behind the photo. And I'm not going to do complete photo match, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to do some layering that don't go all the way around the photo which is different for me. I used to do this quite often, but for some reason I stopped doing it. Um, and so I decided to do it again for this layout. And these are the um, papers that I chose to use. I'm trying to keep the mustard and the pink and I want black to be, those are the colors. Those are the, the main colors on this layout. The last layout that I did, which was the first one, the main color that I used was green. Um, and I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. 
for this one. So I wanted to focus on the pink, the black, and the mustard. Those were the colors that I really, really wanted to focus on. So that's why I'm pulling out this um, paper that's black with white tiny polka dots on it. I added another layer behind the photo. And then I'm going to go flip that paper over and grab that cream and black stripe with gold polka dots. Um, you don't really see the black on that once it's layered behind my photo, but it just adds another layer behind the photo. So I am going to pull a piece of black cardstock from my stash as well um, to kind of matte that um, light pink with, um, what is that color? Mustard. I was about to say maroon. <laughs> Mustard um, color splatters. And this is a tip for you guys. Um, sometimes I struggle. Sometimes I will put adhesive on the whole back side of it and then go to mat it and I don't get it straight. So just put adhesive down one side, get it straight, and then put the adhesive on the rest of the cardstock and smooth it out. Um, that really seems to help me get it even on all sides when you're matting a 12 by 12 paper. So now I just have to build around the photo and this embellishment. So I am going to put a piece of um, one of those three by four cards that I had trimmed down earlier. I'm going to use the opposite side, which is the pattern. Um, and it's the hearts, like the mustard and black hearts. Um, and I just felt like it needed something behind it. So that's the reason why I did that. Um, and I'm going to bring in a black doily for my stash as well, you guys. I felt like it needed something behind those florals because the florals were pink, um, the ones that are overhanging off of the tag. Um, I felt like they were getting lost in the pink paper. Um, so that's the reason why I put the black doily and I had two there. Whoops. <laughs> they get stuck together. Um, so I really, really love the way that that looks. I like, I like that much better um, with the black behind it. It kind of makes it just pop just a little more. It's just an extra touch. Um, and then another extra touch. <laughs> I'm going to add some black thread. And I'm just going to kind of um, ball it up, I guess, and then put some adhesive behind um, the doily here and just kind of have it stick out. So... It's pretty easy to do. Sometimes it looks right, sometimes it doesn't. For some reason, it seemed to look right today. <laughs> um, there have been times where I've had to really work with it, but today it really, it worked pretty well. Um, so now, once I get that down, I believe I'm going to work on the title. I'm going to pull out the Puffy Alphas, and they are from Pink Fresh Studio, and they're black. They're like a a scripty kind of font, which is really cool. So I'm going to kind of put them together to make them look like they're all one word, um, which I really, really love the way that this came together. So the title of this layout is going to be Everyday Moments. So you guys know if you've been following me, that is mostly what I document. Um, the little everyday things, that's, you know, I also document obviously like birthday parties and vacations and stuff like that. But my passion is the everyday moments, the everyday memories. Those things are the best <laughs> to me. Um, when you look back on your life or when children look back, you know, they're going to remember the big things. They're going to remember their birthdays and their Disney trips. Obviously, you still want to document those. But I also feel like it's very necessary to document everyday moments, even photos like this where nobody is looking at the picture. But it's a very special moment for me. Um, and they can look back and remember how things were or whatever. So this is just a photo of my mom and my husband. It was a lazy weekend. She had come for a visit. She was sitting on one couch. My husband was sitting beside me in the recliner and his hand was over. You can see his hand kind of over on my leg and you know, we're just watching TV, hanging out. It's just an everyday moment. But for me, it was a special moment because two of the these people are very important people in my life, and I want to remember that. I want to remember these little moments. So um, now I'm making another small layered embellishment, I guess. I'm putting some of this black, tw not twine, thread behind one of these little um, pink hearts that are from the ephemera pack. The reason I did that was because the pink heart kind of gets lost on the pink paper. 
um, and it still kind of does, but that thread kind of makes it kind of pop off the page. I'm going to put it down at the bottom and then I'm going to layer on top um, another ephemera piece that says this is the life. And then I'm going to add a couple tiny word phrases. Um, one that says celebrate everyday things and then one that says best kind of people. And the last thing I'm going to do is add some sequins in a couple places. That's going to be it for today, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, Click Kits will be linked below along with my coupon code so you guys can get a discount. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that y'all have an amazing day. Bye.